What's cracking YouTube? I am back. So we're here to talk about more woke SJW craziness and a bit of woke foolishness as well. Because I want to talk about this one clip in particular from France. It proves that you don't want to ever eat street food over there. Or you could be in for a long time on the toilet, if you know what I mean. It's a bloody mess. But as always, so first up, if you want to help me out, hit the like button and subscribe button as well. And if you do hit that subscribe button, make sure you get all notifications, because I'm struggling here. And I do want to say thanks to all the viewers out there who, who left super thanks on my last video. Thanks for doing that. But we all know these gym chicks are out of control, trying to get that attention, trying to shove their privates in people's faces, hoping for a reaction. This this how you deal with these gym chicks, okay? Check this out. You give him a face full of that junk, right? <laughs> give him a face full of that junk and you show him what's up. That's the way you do it. But this is the clip here I wanted to show you from France. I saw this, I was like, what the hell is this? That is gross, that is disgusting. So we all know that France has been importing many people from um, from different cultures, I'll put it like that, which seems in some way to have altered the nature of um, of French society. Check this out. And keep in mind the top that person is wearing. And how he's got blue sleeves. Take note of that. Do you notice the sleeves? Do you notice uh, what this guy's wearing up here? Yeah, it's the same guy. He's literally washing that dish in that filthy garbage water and then preparing food on it. What kind of third world dump would you have to have grown up in to think that is appropriate food standards? Food preparation. It is disgusting. And that's why people say, when you import the third world, you become the third world. When you import lots of people who see no issue with food being prepared like this, it's, uh, it's not a good situation. <laughs> it's not a good situation. And it could lead, and it could actually lead to people dying through food poisoning. Right? It's not unheard of. Right? So it's just like, I mean, it's gross. Absolutely disgusting. So we had the solar eclipse in the past few days. Check this out. Breaking. Search results for why do my eyes hurt and my eyes hurt have exploded after the total solar eclipse. How effing dumb would you have to be to not realize you can hurt your eyes if you look at it? What planet are people growing up on where they don't understand this? Like how stupid would you have to be? Searched it. The searches for that had gone through the roof. That's how many people out there are dumb as, you know what? Dumb as S. And the less said about women drivers, the better. We've got an example here. Thankfully, no one was hurt. But this, this is like the best driving you'll ever see from a woman. right? They can't drive better than this. That's, that's all they can do. <laughs> And that was her trying to park. That's, a, that's, a, that's like a regular woman trying to park. <laughs> and by the way, by the way, no one was injured in that footage. But come on, what the hell are you doing? And this one here. You got these people trying to take a dip in a storm drain. Like how disgusting is that? How putrid is that water? You're probably catching about 10 diseases as soon as you go in there. Like, yep, loving it. Yeah, great place to cool off. God help us. Is this the world's most jealous woman? Debbie, 42, forces 30-year-old fiancé to take a lie detector test every time he leaves the house. Get the hell out. <laughs> every time he gets back, she's hooking him up directly to that lie detector test. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And look, based on the images, and look, based on the image here, look, I don't think, I don't think this guy's doing much better, okay, on the outside. <laughs> and bans him from watching TV in case he's attracted to another girl. Gets the lie detector treatment every day and can't watch TV either. That's a bad situation. <laughs> I feel, I feel bad for you, but you know, you, you wanted this, right? And now you got this, you know, jab of the heart looking bitch. <laughs> Con controlling your life. Now we've got this one here about YouTube. Um, an ad titled, Am I Gay? With a picture of a cat's rear end appears next to a Minecraft video on YouTube for kids. So this is the kids section of YouTube. And that's the ad they've got there. Really? I think YouTube needs to demonetize themselves. It, they've been banning so many creators who haven't done anything wrong. Yet they put out stuff like this. This, this, it's like fucking sick. And they put out sick stuff like this. Look at it. A kid watching this would see that. How is this in any sense appropriate? But YouTube, it's like, like, what does that even mean though? Isn't that insulting to gay people, though, to have that thing there? Sad state of a man. The Prime Minister of the UK, Sunak. Why is he doing that? Why is this hammer at this angle? God, the amount of soy emanating from many of these modern day males is just embarrassing. Right? It, it, oh God help us. How could this guy have never held a hammer in his entire life? And I think we'll finish up here with this. Just a random orange cat who just doesn't understand what it is to be a cat. It's just, it's just, doesn't want any bar of that tree. Just like, give me the goddamn food. What are you doing? But that's what's going on. Hope you're having a good day as always. And as I always say, get the peons the hell out of a stinking house.